Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing area. Here are the area formulas. Um, some of them, these you can find on the reference sheet. The area of the triangle is one half base times height. Area of a rectangle is base times height, or you can think of it as length times width. Area of a circle is pi r squared, r being the radius. And the area of a square is the side squared, because all the sides are the same. Now, when it comes to finding the area of an irregular shape, when it's a diagram that looks like that, we're going to have to add. So if you notice in this diagram, we have area of a rectangle plus an area of a quarter of a circle plus the area of a rectangle. If you put that all together and add them together, you're going to get the total area. Whereas if you see a shaded region, you're going to have to subtract. So, for example, you see that rectangle, you would find the area of the entire rectangle. Then you find the area of the semicircle, which is half a circle, and you would subtract. And that would give you the area of the shaded section. Let's take a look at this example. Kira has a square poster that she's framing and placing on her wall. The poster has a diagonal 58 centimeters long and fits exactly inside the frame. The width of the frame around the picture is four centimeters. Determine and state the total area of the poster and frame to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter. Okay, so if you notice, we have a square, but the problem is we don't know what this is. So I'm gonna call this X. But because it's a square, we know that there's a right angle. And because it's a square, all sides are congruent. So I can put x here as well. And look, it's a right triangle. We know how to find the sides of a right triangle using Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the x's are my legs. So x squared plus x squared is equal to my hypotenuse, which is 58 squared. So I have 2x squared is equal to 58 squared, which is 3,364. I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I end up getting 1,682. Because it's x squared, I have to take the square root, and I roughly get 41.0121933 1. So that tells me that x is represented by about 41. However, we want to find the total area. So we want to find the total area of a square, which means we're going to have to take a side and square it because all the sides are congruent. Now, if we look at the big square, we know that here to here is 4, which means here to here is also 4. So that means this whole side put together is going to be x plus 4 plus another 4, which is really x plus 8. So our area, we're going to take x plus 8 squared. Now we already know what our x is. That's our 41.0121933. Plus 8, and we're going to square it. And when we do that, we get 2,402.19. Because it wants us to round to the nearest tenth, we're going to do 2,402.2 centimeters squared. When you take area, it's squared. Let's look at this next example. It says a countertop for a kitchen is modeled with the dimensions shown below. An 18 inch by 21 inch rectangle will be removed for the installation of the sink. What is the area of the top of the installed countertop to the nearest square foot? So notice here we're looking for the area of the shaded region, which means we're going to have to subtract. So we're going to have, find our two total areas and then end up subtracting that. So I kind of want to divide this into two rectangles. So if you notice, I'm going to have two feet here by five feet. 
And then this one, uh, the smaller one, let me do it in a different color pen. This is no longer going to be 8 on top because if this is 2 feet at the bottom, this is 2 feet. So I have 8 minus 2, so this is going to give me 6 feet. So I'm going to add this together, my total areas of both. So I have a rectangle, so I'm going to do the area of the rectangle outlined in blue, which is 2 times 6. And I'm going to add it to my rectangle outline in green, which is going to be 2 times 5. But I want to remove the sink. So everything is in terms of feet except for the sink. So we have to put that in terms of feet. We know that there is 12 inches in a foot. So we're going to take this 21 inches and we're going to divide that by 12. And we're going to get 1.75. We're going to do the same to the 18, so 18 divided by 12, and that's going to give us 1.5. So we're going to find the area of that, which is a rectangle, so we're going to multiply 1.5 times 1.75. And again, we want to subtract the sink because that's taking away countertop space. So let's do the math. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 5 is 10, we're subtracting 1.5 times 1.75, which is 2.625. 12 plus 10 is 22, 22 minus 2.625, it's going to give us roughly 19.375, and that rounds to 19. So don't forget that when there's a shaded sector, we're going to subtract.